You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and this is the Moon Blast Off game by Shopper. It says the winner's blast off for Earth Below, the loser doesn't get to go. And uh, this is still sealed in the original plastic, and yes, we are going to take it out and show you, because it's no fun to have it in the box if you can't play it. So I want to check it out and see, but we can at least read the rules and information here. It says the object of the game is to collect 10 astronauts. The first player to do so is the winner of the game. Before starting play, each player is given 5 astronauts, all one color. The rocket is placed on the moon launch, and the lever is pushed. The lever is pushed to one side. I was going to say ish, but, uh, well, let's read on. How to play. Each player places 4 astronauts in front of him, and 1 astronaut in the crater. The starting player spins the marble around the outside rim of the moon. If the ball lands on the color of your spaceman, our spaceman, you get to blast off. It doesn't matter who spins the ball, the player whose color the marble lands on will get to blast off. The blast To blast off, you quickly pull the rocket from the launch pad. The other players have to save their men from falling into the moon crater. Rules. If a player saves his man from falling into the moon but doesn't hold on to it, he still loses his man. The player whose turn it is gets to keep all of the men that fall to the moon, including his own. If the marble is spun and lands on a white dot, it is considered a bluff. If it lands on a star, the player may take a man from one of the other players who is winning, and if a player touches his man before the marble stops, he loses his man to the player whose turn it is to spin. When a player grabs the rocket and the marble did not land on his color, that player has to give the person whose color it did land on one of his men. When a player runs out of spacemen, he can get one from a player who has one that is is in his color. The first player to get 10 astronauts wins the game. Ooh, I know it's hard to understand when you read it like that. So I have to actually get it all out of the box. But before I do that, I'm going to carefully and uh, remove the plastic. So I'm going to do that off camera and come back because I want to try to save it as best as possible. All right, so here we go. I just carefully cut around this edge here so that the plastic will stay on the top and the bottom. And here is the game. It's the first time it's come out of the box. Uh, it's from 1970. And let me flip it over. Ooh, things are falling. All right. So that's how they packed it. That looks neat. And then there's this cardboard insert. And whatever's in here is pretty heavy. So let me just dump it all out carefully here. There is the ship. That's really neat. And more pieces. They're kind of lodged in there and the marble keeps uh, moving around. So they kind of, it was standing up. Okay. That was making it hard to get out of the box. Anything else? So that's it. So there is a very old rubber band here which I'm going to have to find a suitable replacement for. So what I'll do now is I'm going to have to go find a rubber band that kind of matches that. So I can't go any further till I get that set because it's going to break when I pull it. So I'll be right back. Well, I am back. I've stacked my astronauts up so they're all lined up. There's five of each color. There's a yellow marble that came with this. And I do have my rubber band on a ruler. And this is to help anybody for history who has this game, lost a rubber band, doesn't know the exact size. It looks like an inch and a quarter, but if you stretch it, it's about an inch and a quarter, maybe inch and three-eighths. So now I need to find a suitable replacement in my collection of rubber bands. So this has all different kinds and sizes. So I look at this one right away and I think this one is very close. And not as thick. Now, I'm not sure the thickness will make a huge difference. This one looks even closer, but too long. This one looks just right. A little bit thicker. Let's see. Very close. So I'm going to use that one. I'll keep the original one in the box so we don't mix it up. Pack all this up. And then, uh, well, let me just do it for you right here. The original rubber band just seemed like it was ready to break, so now we can bring this back in, hook this on. This is what we go through with games like this. Okay, so the tension, nice tension. And that's this arm here. It looks like this can slide, and it locks in when this goes in. So 
This just looks like a really cool, colorful board, doesn't it? Doesn't that look neat? Maybe we need a top-down view. So just to be sure, it doesn't look like there's any exact way, but let me just see. Okay, so when you turn this, it locks in. So when you lift this, that's when they fall in. I'll just do it just so we can hear it and see the action. Okay. Let's lock it. All right. It's under tension now. Let's just check the spinning of the marble aspect. So that landed on red. All right. Well, let's take a closer look at these little fellas here. I was looking at their faces, and, uh, you know, they sort of have a cute face. Let me pull one of each color in here. And then I will adjust the camera here and zoom into them. See that? Little round eyes, a little button nose, and a little mouth going, Oh, what's going to happen? All right, all right, so we've seen those. Did you get a little, well, I can read a little bit here, because I, even though I read it, I'm still not sure one or, each player is given five astronauts, all one color. So let's do that. Well, they're all sorted out here, so let's just leave them sorted like that. Let's assume I am all blue. So I will take my blue. Okay. Each player places four astronauts in front of him and one astronaut in the crater. Okay, so it looks like in the crater means in the crater. Let's say we're playing with four people. Okay, now you see why it's under pressure. And I have the box here off to the side. It's here so I can read it. You want to read that? Okay. Okay, so we do that. So the starting player spins the marble around the outside rim of the moon. If the ball lands on the color of your spaceman, you get to blast off. So you're the one that gets to pull the uh, rocket ship. If the ball lands okay, if the ball lands on the color of your spaceman, okay, it doesn't matter who spins the ball. The player whose color the marble lands on will get to blast off. To blast off, you quickly pull the rocket from the launching pan. The other players have to save their men from falling into the moon crater. So you have to be quick. Once you see it drop into your color, you're pulling the rocket, but you could save your uh, astronauts. If a player saves his man from falling in the moon, but doesn't hold on to it, he still loses his man. So if you're grabbing and you fumble, you've lost it. Okay? Uh, if the player whose turn it gets to keep all the men that fall into the moon, if the player whose turn it is gets to keep all the men that fall into the moon, including his own. Hmm. So you're grabbing the rocket. Yours is still going to stay there, but you get to blast off and see how fast everybody is. Uh, if the marble is spun and lands on a white dot, and there's a white dot uh, here. Let me do some adjustment here so you can get a better perspective of the game. So there's a white dot here. It is considered a bluff. If it lands on a star, the may player may take a man from one of the other players who is winning. And if a player touches his man before the marble stops, he loses his man to the player whose turn it is to spin. Okay. When a player grabs the rocket and the marble did not land on his color. Okay, so those are the rules. When a player turns, runs out of spaceman, he can get one from a player. So you're actually trying to collect ten astronauts. So, let's just do this here. Enough talking, right? So remember, I'm blue and the yellow. So now the yellow gets to pull this. I'm going to try to save my blue in time. And then they're going to knock this out. And the other three have now fallen in. Okay, so that person gets those three, including their own color, remember? Let's reset it. Does it make you jump at all? Let's put the blast off in front. Let's just take a closer look at that game board, huh? That is neat. It's colorful. Looks like it's going to be a fun game. Let me spin it around again. So that landed on a star. That's the blue. I'm just having fun watching it spin around. It's sort of like a little roulette, roulette wheel, isn't it? Ooh, fell off the board. 
That's a respin. Blue, let's put a couple of these people back, these astronauts back in. I want to see them drop underneath. I'm going to reset up my camera here and try to get a shot underneath so we see how they fall in. So hold on just a second. Okay, here we go. You can see the top and the bottom now, so you're going to see them drop. So I will blast off. Here we go. Got it. And the red stood up. The other ones fell. So there you go. Let me come back and uh, get to the game board again. So how's that for a game? That is the close-up of the moon surface. Hope you enjoyed the underside view just to see what happens down there. And uh, that's it. That is the game Blast Off. Let me just give it one more spin. It's a colorful, looks like a fun game. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Ooh, the dot. I can't, can't have it land on that. My last spin. Come on. Blue. Give me a blue. So that I oh, I could blast off. Either way, that's the game Blast Off. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of these shopper games, you know, check that description below. We have a playlist that's ever expanding. Or just search our channel. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.